to another War of Rights video. Today is going to be an extremely special video, and that is because this is going to be a 150-man event. Uh, so in the previous clips you just saw before are going to be the companies that are going to be participating in this event, and we're going to be on Roulette Farm. So we got the Confederates marching out in a double column formation. Got their uh, guns on their shoulders rifles on their shoulders and they are heading to battle so looking at uh, who's going to be participating we have first texas leading this line it's going to be followed up by i believe the third arkansas uh second core and then in the far back we have the sixth alabama uh taking a look at the cap point it is going to be over here by this house and looking at the opposite side now, we have the Union troops, and they're also going to be in a double column formation. Uh, this is going to be consisting of the 95th, the 51st, the 42nd, uh, and a ton more. So it's going to be a beautiful day today, uh, and an extremely special event, so I cannot wait for things to get going. This is just a beautiful view. I have never seen something so magnificent before in my life. In this game, this is just absurd. Uh, so 70 to 72. We are just about 8 guys away from a full server. And that is definitely going to be happening. You want to do a volley? Uh, fuck yeah, of course I'm going to. Goddamn right. Alright. You got Mulcahy and Stone uh, getting the men ready. Copy. Got the NCO repeating the orders. Beautiful. Who's pushing me out? They're gonna be shouldering arms. Look at this line. Unbelievable. Forming up, trying to locate the enemy, and uh, I myself, no clue where they're at, I think, actually way out there. This volley is going to be amazing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Return volley coming in from the Confederates. They're going to be getting their reloads, but we're going to be taking a look back at the Confederate positions. Very similar formation, uh, but they do not have as much cover as the Union troops, so we will see how much that plays uh, a part of how many losses they take. Getting their reloads in. <laughs> Amazing. So right now, it looks like they're just trying to show off their massive lines. And did the game crash? I think 
<laughs> my game crashed. Wow, that is a really big bummer. Well, I'll be right back. Somebody just. All right, guys, we are back after that very unfortunate crash. Union troops looks like they have pushed up into the middle of the field. Previously, they were over by the fence line, and uh, they are taking some pretty heavy losses, actually forcing them uh, into engaged. Looking at all these dead bodies, it is not looking good. Uh, so we're going to head over to the Confederate side now and see exactly what is happening. Uh, so it looks like they have pushed down onto the fence line. Now the fence is going to be providing a lot of great cover for the Confederates. And their losses are much less, so it looks like they're going to be holding fire. Firing by rank. This is going to be very interesting. We're going to see how disciplined these guys are. So extremely disciplined, following commands. As you can tell, everyone did exactly what they needed to do. Uh, and as a result, they uh, seem to be causing a lot more damage to these confederate, excuse me, to these Union troops. Every volley seems to be knocking down more and more Union troops. Uh, but we will see what they can do to combat this. Uh, they themselves might actually have to push up to the fence line in front of them. Yes. <laughs> uh, here we go. Same can be said for the Union. Everyone doing their part and keeping this volley or continuous stream of fire uh, going. So, really, really nice tactic. It's going to allow the Union troops to keep up a constant rate of fire. Uh, now this is great for any melee charges, it's going to keep the enemy from charging because there's always going to be those troops firing at the same time. Really well done for the Union troops. Now the point is right by this house, it looks like both sides are not wanting to engage there. And a pool of blood for these Union troops. Uh, taking a look at their reinforcements. Uh, they're going to be trickling in, and actually a uh, pretty large number, and refilling the line. So 26 minutes to go. Got the flag bear here, trying to keep the morale up. Now the Confederates seem to be uh, not engaging, so we will see what they're up to. Looks like they're going to be pushing down the left side of the road, or the fence line, and headed towards the road. I don't think this is their full force, though. Let's take a look from a bird's eye view to see exactly where they're at. Uh, so it looks like two forces. So the main force is still here. Not too sure what they're doing. Taking their time. Not wanting to risk anything. It seems like they are going to be moving out towards the left side. They go. So it looks like they're wanting that cap point now. So they're going to be pushing over towards the left side. But some really, really nice lines. I am absolutely loving this right now. Just the smoke, the sheer numbers. Oh no. I've never seen these. Oh my. Never seen this many bayonets fixed at the same time before. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is what War of Rights is meant to be. 
such a great game. But they're going to be pushing over the fence with their bayonets charged. Through the smoke and pushing up now. Confederates though prepared for this charge getting a decent volley and not dropping too many guys and with fully loaded weapons for the Union troops they're gonna be charging this Confederate line officer leading the charge over the fence they go Absolute bloodbath. Stabbing people through the fences. Union troops still trying to hold strong, but it looks like the Confederates do have the slight advantage in numbers. And just like that, the Confederates did manage to win that engagement, even though they did not have their volleys off or uh, loaded, guns loaded, they were still able to hold that line. And some absolute devastation amongst both sides. Union troops falling on one side, Confederates falling on the other. Uh, but with that, Union troops now into taking losses. Uh, and the Confederates are still battle ready. But a really epic charge there by the Union troops trying to break down that confederate line and they're going to be reforming at spawn and getting ready for this next attack this is amazing so many people so looking fancy just like the Confederates, going to be right shoulder shifting uh, and moving out in a double column formation. Here they go. Moving out, getting their reloads. And uh... Total credit to the developers, able to make a game that can sustain such high graphics uh, as well as provide uh, a lot of people on the server. So great job from them. Uh, this game is just absolutely amazing. And uh, they are just doing such a good job. But anyways, back to the engagement. Union troops now pushing down the road. Confederates getting their reinforcements that they need. Uh, and they're going to be forming back up on the fence line. So they're going to be falling back off the fence line and headed towards the hillside. This is going to be providing the Confederates uh, a little, little bit more visibility. Um, but there is a lot of trees and smoke, so it may not provide the best, but it is better than being on the fence line. Anyways, Union troops now pushing back across the field where they previously were, and they are at the quick time. And pushing back in. Turn volley by the Confederates, taking out quite a few. So about maybe 15 to 10 guys falling. Artillery hitting the Union troops hard. Still standing though. Another great volley coming in for the Union. So we will take a look at the Confederate side now, see what casualties they are sustaining. Small force behind the picket fence, and then the rest of the guys on top of this hill. 
Now, as you can tell, not as many losses. And, uh, I'm wondering why. I'm not too sure why they're, uh, doing so well. I mean, <laughs> they're Confederates, I mean. <laughs> I'm joking. But anyways, both sides are doing a great job. Uh, Union troops now at the quick time pushing up. But I guess the hill advantage does benefit them a little bit. Good lord. <laughs> My mind is just blown right now. I just cannot take all this in. This is crazy. <laughs> So excuse me if uh, my vocabulary or my words are slurred or whatnot. I, this is just amazing. <laughs> I am in awe right now. So 18 minutes to go. Man, these Confederates doing a really good job right now. Their line just seems to be shrinking the minute, but the Union Spirit is still very, very high, uh, and it's also very hard to see that there's two Confederate forces, so a little bit in a, of an unfair advantage for the Confederates. I don't think you're supposed to do this, but uh, looks like they're going to be doing that for some time. As for this main line, still looking really, really good. Putting a lot of rounds down the range. Excuse me, rounds. <laughs> oh man, I can. It's just oh, I cannot comprehend this right now. This is just amazing. <laughs> so 17 minutes to go. Union troops in some desperate need of reinforcements, but they are taking the cap point. So Union troops are going to have to hold this for about maybe another five minutes if they want to win this game. And the Confederates are going to be uh, forced to charge if something does not change about this. They are right over there aiming their guns, getting ready for another volley. This is going to hurt. Yep. So once again taking a lot of losses. Okay, he ordering his men to move out. They are going to be pushing towards the road. Might be taking some extra cover. Uh, what is going on here? <laughs> oh, getting it from behind. <laughs> oh man, it looks like a confederate wanted to uh, join the Union Army. And they were having none of that. <laughs> Anyways, Union troops pushing over the stone wall. And going for a flanking maneuver. Now, pushing out far from spawn is going to take them a lot longer to get reinforcements. Uh, so they're going to have to find a really good position. And it looks like they have found the perfect spot. Confederates really in a bad spot right now. Very unorganized. Trying to get formed up. Taking them quite some time, and it's going to allow these Union troops uh, to get some really nice flanking fire in. Uh, but it looks like the Confederates are forming up a pretty nice line, uh, despite that flank, and uh, seem to be pretty organized. The Confederates organizing a charge. It looks like the first force is going to be charging in. It's a small one. It looks like a skirmish force. They're trying their best to get over the fence line. We have an officer here managing to get over. But is going to get gunned down by the Union officer. Now with that distraction force. Through the smoke. Here comes the Confederates charging in. And they're going to try and take this left flank from the Union troops. So pushing down the hill and towards the objective. The Union troops are now breaking. This charge could determine the battle right here. So pushing in. It looks like none of them are able to really breach over the fence line. Just getting gunned down. There 
they go. Starting to jump over the fence and make it towards the new positions. Confederates now are engaged. And it seems to be a clear victory for the Union troops in this small engagement. Beating back the Confederates. <laughs> a little bit of a team kill there. You gotta watch that. Oh, the team kill. So yeah, always gotta watch your team kills. Uh, new feature in the game to where... Ooh, I thought I crashed there. <laughs> that would have been bad. Anyways, uh, there is a new team kill. Well, it's been around for about maybe a month now. But if you, uh, you can now team kill people by stabbing them. Uh, so you do have to be cautious with who you stab at. So here we go. Confederates forming back up. Right behind the beehives. Collecting their daily honey. <laughs> And they'll be moving out, so taking a quick break. So right over this house are the Union troops, and they have found a perfect location. Uh, really nice spot. Right when they come out of spawn, you can easily see them. Now, if I were the Confederates, I'd be forming up along this fence line right here. It's going to provide some great cover uh, and allow for a closer engagement. Also right here is a pretty good spot. Uh, but it is a small force, so we will see how effective they are. Confederate troops now pushing out of spawn. They're going to be heading towards the uh, engage and engagement zone. Excuse me. Very tongue twisted today. <laughs> oh man. So they're going to be pushing back out in a double column formation once again, forming back up. And they're going to be using this house as cover. Making sure they have their bayonets fixed. I think they're going to go in for, once again, another charge. Now that previous charge, there were kind of uh, a bit of a separation between the two groups. Even though it was supposed to be one, so that was the reason they lost that. Uh, but if they can keep a big group together and charge as a whole, I am sure they can win that side. So here we go. Confederates about to move out once again. They're going to be wrapping around the house and towards those Union positions. We have the six here. Kind of honoring them as they move out. The six is going to be joining that line, it seems. So with the double quick, they're going to be pushing down the road. Now I did see some movement over here. And they are going to be flanking the flankers. Don't know if the Union troops noticed this or not. Occasional Rambo's not too sure what this guy is doing, <laughs> but he's about to get a face full of Confederates right when he bends this corner. Oh, it looks like the bush is hiding it. Oh, these guys, these guys have no clue what is about to hit them. <laughs> Yep, yeah, they are freaking out. They, they escaped at the perfect time. Union troops now starting to realize what is happening. And now the Confederates are going to be getting a good flanking fire. This is going to hurt so much. This is going to hurt so bad. <laughs> Shredding that line. Union troops now are going to be returning the fire. Confederates now charging back in. They need to really take their time with these shots making sure they all hit their intended targets and here comes the confederates pushing in artillery hitting from above and another big melee engagement now once again it looks like union troops holding the line pretty well keeping the confed <laughs> oh, i cannot talk today keeping the confederates back oh this is too too insane <laughs> I cannot talk, but anyways, 
Uh, looks like a second wave of Confederates now pushing up towards the fence line. And, uh... Yes, the Union troops are going to be losing. It seemed like they were uh, in a perfect position. Uh, but the Confederates proving me wrong. <laughs> and wiping out that line. Oh man, this is... this. I, Hmm, today is just not my day for talking. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of this epic map or, uh, I don't know. No clue. Anyways, Union troops reforming once again. And they're going to be pushing back on out. Forming back up. Did, uh, Fury did okay, he crashed. And that is the game. So 344 losses for the Union troops and 211 for the Confederates. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Such an awesome battle. Um, <laughs> and I hope to see more. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later.